And more good news here, at this point, it is almost a certainty that FSD beta is actually coming to China. Because if you look at the Chinese user manual, then you will see a lot of information about FSD, exactly how it works, how to use it, and everything else before it was not in there. There were also some additional wording that was added recently in some uh, European countries about FSD, but seems like at least uh, in Germany, some of that has been removed. At least this link to the owner manual does not work anymore. But we have people confirming that there's additional new language about FSD beta in Sweden and the UK as well. It also seems to be in Hungary, so this seems to be a pretty wide update. It's also in the Danish manual. I think it might be easier to figure out in which countries this has not happened yet in Europe. Here's some more good Tesla stock news. General Motors has just signed an agreement with Tesla China and announced that its EVs will be able to access the supercharger network within China. This comes right after GM announcing that they will no longer advertise during the Super Bowl, where usually they advertise their EVs. This is happening for the first time in years. These higher labor costs probably are putting pressure on GM. Here's some good news. India is closing in on an agreement with Tesla that would allow Tesla to ship its electric cars to the country from next year and set up a factory within two years. The discussions, of course, are still private, so this is not officially confirmed, but this is likely to be true. Tesla would commit an initial minimum investment in any plant of around $2 billion and will look to increase purchases of auto parts from the nation to as much as $15 billion. Currently, the number for this year is estimated to be $1.9 billion. The U.S. automaker would also seek to make some batteries in India to bring down costs. All right, that's good, I like that. Nothing, of course, is final yet, but everything is trending towards a very good direction. We also know that Elon intends to visit India in 2024. Today, everything is down, but not Tesla stock. That's because there is so much good news for Tesla today. Elon Musk is now following Andrei Karpathy, who used to be in charge of Tesla's FSD development. He left Tesla to work at OpenAI, but for the first time in about two years, he made his first pro-Elon tweet. We know that OpenAI right now is collapsing, and Tesla could greatly benefit from this by attracting some of the top talent from OpenAI, including getting Andrei back. I don't think that's why Tesla stock is up today, but it's a pretty big deal.